hits the entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. Straight shooting. And suspense. Yeah, hi, Annie. This is more than one dead shot around Diablo these days. A half inch to the right and you'd have gotten tagged. Half a foot and I'd have gotten you. But I don't miss any more than you do, Annie. Let me give you some friendly advice, Maze. If this ever happens again, there'll be somebody from the sheriff's office to pick up that gun of yours for safekeeping. Oh, Annie, I've seen Maze shoot hundreds of times. He never misses. And that's for you, Bucky Donovan. Who gave you permission to pack a gun? Who do you think? My brother. Steve said I could. Bucky, I know Steve has more sense than to let a 15-year-old youngster carry firearms. You calling him a liar? Listen, Mace, before you get into real trouble and drag Bucky in with you, I'm advising you to turn around and start walking. Come on, kid. Let's get out of here before I lose my manners in front of a gabby female. If I was just a little bigger, I'd show him a thing or two. No, Tag. That's how Mace got into his first trouble. He got too big, too fast. Biggest thing about Mace Carver is his big mouth. Well, if you're right, Tag, and I suspect maybe you are, it won't be long before he'll be putting his foot in it. Now run on in and tell Lockie that I'll be back in time to fix that special venison supper I promised for him tonight. I'm gonna ride out to the Donovan Ranch and have a talk with Bucky's brother, Steve. All right, Annie. <laughs> Good to see you. I hope it'll be good to see me. Something wrong? No, not yet. Steve, did you give Bucky permission to carry a 45? Oh, I certainly never. No. Come to think of it, maybe I did. You know, he's not a baby anymore, Annie. Now tell me the truth, Steve. You acted kind of surprised when I said he was carrying one. I was surprised to think that he'd take it after I told him not to. Where'd you see him, Annie? In town. And I'll bet you know who with. Mace Carver. Mm-hmm. He's your brother, Steve. And I think you'd better do something about Bucky before it's too late. It's my fault, all right, Annie. But since the folks died, it's kind of tough to run the place alone and bring Bucky up right. I know it's tough, Steve, but since you are bringing him up, do the best you can and give him a fair chance. Hi, Steve. How's tricks? What's the idea? Don't let me ever catch you toting this again, understand? I saw Flattermouse riding away from here. Regular old lady, ain't she? Can't wait to tell everything she knows. That'll be enough out of you. Anything Annie says is for your good and mine. Yeah, she just sorts someone else around here can fan a gun better than she can. Look, kid. W when you were just a button, you'd fall and you'd hurt yourself. You'd come to me for help. You're riding for a fall now, and it, it just could be that I won't be around when it happens. Howdy, Deuce. My name is Anderson, Mr. Anderson. Sorry, Mr. Anderson. That uh, sign means just what it says. 
No kid. I was just gonna get a few packs of old cards. If you're through with them. Well, what do you want playing cards for? Oh, I use them all the time. Practice with them. Could I go in and... No. You wait here. I'll get them for you. looking for you. I'll bet. Where were you last night? I couldn't meet you. We had some work to do over our place. Excuses don't go with me. I told you to be there. Where's your gun? Gosh, I must have forgot it. Don't lie to me. I guess I better find a man to ride with me. Not a kid who's still wet behind the ears. Mace, you knew blame well it wasn't my gun. Steve, Gabby Antioquia came over and told him about yesterday. Okay, I'll get you a cap buster of your own. After that, you weasel out, I mean, you know, just what'll... Oh, Mr. Anderson. Thanks for getting them for me. Forget it. Just mosey along. I don't like brats hanging around my place. You heard, Mr. Anderson. You don't like kids like you hanging around. Come on. I got a good frontier model in my gear. All you have to get is your own holster. You bet. Say, what do you want with the playing cards? Practice, kid, practice. If you think Danny Oakland's good, wait till you see me shoot the spots off a six or six. What's the idea? Can't you see where you're going, you old fogey? Well, you better learn to manage your tongue when you're talking to your elders, you little pipsqueak, you. Think maybe you can teach me? Oh, get out of here. Who do you think you're shoving? Go on. Go for it. <laughs> Threaten me, Willie. I think you're going. Who drew down on Simmons? You, Mace? Yeah. Oh, who drew first? Yeah. Simmons went kind of berserk. Went for his gun. Well, that's something we can check up on later. He's still alive. We're taking him over to Dr. Burns now. You do the shooting, Mace? He admits it, Lofty. Claims he has a witness. Like Simmons dies, you're going to need more than one witness. He's got more than one witness, Deputy. I saw the whole thing. You sure, Anderson? I swear to it in court, if that's what you mean. Simmons was a fool. Let this kid bait him into scratching leather. I guess that's that, Lost. Guess so. You two stick around town. If Simmons should die, there'll be an inquest. Sure can't thank you enough, Deuce. The name is Anderson, and I didn't do it for you. I just told the truth. Come on. About Ike Simmons, I'm thinking about Mace, too. Getting ready for the shooting is going to make him even harder than ever to handle. Well, if this radio will be lucky if he just ends up in here, not dangling at the end of a rope. And Bucky Donovan with him. Well, Lofty, isn't there something we can do to keep Bucky from getting in as deep as Mace? Do? Well, you talked to his brother yesterday, didn't you? Yeah. Today's back with Nate, stirring up more trouble. Doc Burns said Mr. Simmons is going to be all right. Sending them home tomorrow. Hey, that's good news. Yeah, it is. It might be bad news for Mace. Now he's free to try it again, and this time he might kill somebody trying to prove just how tough he is. Well, gosh, Annie, even you have to admit he's a good shot. Anybody can be a good shot, Tag, with a little practice, but well, Mace doesn't even know what a gun is for. Well, what do you mean, for? Well, a gun is supposed to be used for self-protection, but Mace is trying to use it to prove himself. He'll prove himself all right. Prove himself guilty of murder. <laughs> Bucky. Out. Any objections? Plenty. I told you I never wanted you to wear that again. Yeah? Well, this happens to be mine. Give it to me, Bucky. You want it? Take it. I said, give it to me. And you know how you can get it. Now look, Bucky. I've never laid a hand on you, and I don't want to now. Sure. The kid brother's gotten too big for you. Now listen to me! <laughs> Sorry, Bucky. Now give me the gun. Oh! Bucky! 
Bucky. Bucky, come back. You weren't coming until after dark. I had some trouble with Steve. Thought I'd better get here while the getting was good. All right. Hit your horse up out back on mine is. Good idea. Watch. You hit that card every time? Come on, see for yourself. That's what's left of the six of spades. Jaminetta. Right in the middle of every spot. Sure wish I could shoot like that. Ah, uh, takes time. You learn. But tomorrow, be the close shooting to me. She's coming. That's her, all right. And remember, all you do is back my plane. Nothing else. that express so I can know it'll get hurt. Here's your receipt. Box Canyon, where there's a deserted line shack. We going in after them? No. They'll probably hide out in there till dark. I think I've got a way we can handle this one.
That's a fine lot of proof. The say so of a tin horn gambler. We don't like gamblers any better than you do, Steve. Then give Deuce credit. He had dumbified that card because he wanted to keep Bucky from making the same mistakes he had made when he had no family to watch after him. All right, Annie. What do you want me to do? Well, first off, I'm going to give you a chance to bring your brother in. Me? With them hit out in the box canyon? That's a job for you and the posse. That'd mean a lot of shooting, Steve, and Bucky might get killed. But if you went out there, apparently alone and unarmed, I don't think even that low code Mace would throw lead at you. We'll be there with you, Steve. You might save Bucky from being hurt if Mace decides to run for it. You don't have to do it, you know, Steve. No, it's my fault I let him go this far. I just hope it's not too late. Good. Well, Tag, this is one time I want you with me. Oh, Jesus, honest? Honest. I think that slingshot of yours might come in handy. You've lost your gun, Steve. Give me the hope, too. Thanks, Steve. If you're up to there, you're on your own. We will always be behind you. Good luck, Steve. Mace, let's get out of here. I told you we're staying until dark, and that's just what we're doing. But I know Annie's thoughts right up here. She ain't gonna... Bucky! Bucky, this is Steve. I'm coming up. Bucky! Do you hear me? This is your brother, Steve. Bucky! Bucky, don't be a fool. I'm aiming on helping you. Get outside and tell him to come on up. Get going. No. No, I won't do it. Get going. Okay, Steve. Don't try anything. I'm not wearing a gun. You hear that, Mace? Hey, where's Mace? Right here, Donovan. I'm telling you how you're going to get us out of here. You do as you're told and no one will get hurt. And if I don't? You'll never live to find out. Now turn around slow and hold your arms out straight. <laughs> this is just going to get you in more trouble, boy, because Annie and Lofty are both outside. I thought so. You're calling out to them that we're walking out of here together. And if they try and stop us, you both get plugged. No deal, Mace. I'm calling your bluff. This says I'm not bluffing. You squeeze that trigger and they'll both be in here on top of you. Yeah? Well, I'll take my chances. Now get over to that window and call him. Call him or I'll kill your brother. Annie! Lofty! Everything's all right. Come on up. Let's go. No, wait a minute, Lofty. Mace isn't coming out. He must have the upper hand. It's a trap. Then we'll have to rush him. Yeah. We'll have to surprise him by hitting from all directions. Lofty, you sneak around to the back door. I'm going to get up on the roof to distract Mace. What can I do? Here, Tag, put this pebble in your slingshot and take a bead on that front window. Lofty, when you hear that window crash, kick in the back door. Right. Be sure you don't miss, Tag. I won't, Annie.
Are you kidding me? There's nobody out there. They're out there. Then call them again and make it loud. Annie! Lofty! Come on up here! Drop your gun. Now handcuff yourself to Steve. Hold it. One of you on each side of that beam. All right, Bucky, let's get out of here. Open that door. Wait a minute. Put that hat and vest on. Now run straight out that door and don't turn or yell. If you do, you'll get a slug in the back from this. I'm not going to do very much, Mace, but I got a feeling there's a judge that's got a lot of ideas that the whole county is going to cheer. Now go on, get going. Annie, old Doc Burns couldn't have done any better. If you ask me, the Doc couldn't have done as well. Well, somebody had to fix you up. And you still have to stand trial, you know. Believe me, Annie, we both owe you an awful lot. Now, here's the one we owe the thanks to. He took a gun with him to save you. When the circuit judge hears how he helped Steve, I'm sure he'll suspend the sentence and parole him to you. And this time, the sheriff's office is keeping an eye on me. We're holding you personally responsible. Well, you'll both be wasting your time, because the Donald brothers have learned their lesson. This time, for good. Mm -hmm. 